in this question a stone is falling at constant velocity and we have to decide which of the three statements given are correct about the energy changes during the motion of the stone. Constant velocity means that the net force acting on the stone is zero. Let's draw a free body diagram for the stone. It has two forces acting on it. The first one is the gravitational force, I will name this Fg, and the second one is the frictional force acting upwards, I will name this FF. So FF is equal to Fg. Let's look at the energy changes. Since kinetic energy depends on the velocity, and velocity is constant, kinetic energy is also constant. This means that the gain in kinetic energy, Ek, is equal to zero. Since the stone is falling, its gravitational potential energy is changing into another type of energy. This other type of energy is energy lost due to friction, which is most likely heat and possibly sound energy. I will just call it EF, energy lost due to friction. So we can write down that gravitational potential energy, EP, is converted into energy that is lost due to friction, so EF. Let's examine the three statements. Since gain in kinetic energy is zero, while the stone is losing gravitational potential energy, statement one is correct. Since the kinetic energy is constant, while gravitational potential energy is decreasing, their sum will decrease, and statement 2 is incorrect. At this point, we can conclude that the correct answer is B, but let's take a look at statement 3. Since the frictional force and the gravitational force have the same magnitude, as we have concluded earlier, and they point in opposite directions, the magnitude of the work done by these forces will be equal. This means that statement 3 is correct, and the answer to this question is B.